Give us your aggressive buy when I feel like, Peter, we just keep on getting bad headline after bad headline. Today, the latest is that China is removing its airworthiness of the 737. Yeah, so I, I, I understand that. We, we, you know, we appreciate there's going to be continuing lingering headline risk, but we do believe, you know, that $41 billion in market value that has been wiped off uh, since this incident. Uh, and we do ultimately think that the software solution uh, will will be the fix and that ultimately the uh, the aircrafts will be uh, uh, no longer grounded uh, relatively uh, soon. Sometime this spring, we think that it will be sooner than people expect and that, you know, we'll begin to see the rolling updates throughout not only the grounded fleet, but yeah. what Boeing has on the final assembly line. So but- I think that that's. That's what we're expecting. But, Peter, it's not just about the 737 MAX jet. It's also about the political implications here and the competitive landscape with China uh, having a homegrown aircraft manufacturer that they're probably going to have up and running uh, with capacity in the next three years. I mean, how much is this just sort of a a precursor to to what's to come for Boeing? Yeah, so look, it, the duopoly, I think, is going to still remain very much intact. Um, you know, Airbus is not swimming in capacity, um, and the Chinese competitive offering is still uh, quite a ways away from being able to even remotely satisfy any sort of demand. So I think the duopoly between Boeing and Airbus will remain very much intact. I do ultimately think that the 737 MAX, once this solution is done, will be probably the safest aircraft in the sky. Um, this is, you know, clearly going to be, uh, it, it has an incredible reputation the 737 family before this uh, in terms of safety, Boeing's heritage is safety. So I think this fix will get done. And then it's a matter of what is the financial impact here and is this priced in? And we believe that's the case.